Hello guys, welcome to ServiceNow Master. In this video, we are going to integrate ServiceNow with ChatGPT. For this, we will require URL and the API key from the ChatGPT. And in ServiceNow, we will create one custom table, REST message and the business rule for the automation of the integration. Now we will go to the demonstration part. This is my personal developer instance. From here, I will type the tables and will create one new custom table under system definitions. I will create one new table. I will give the name as chat GPT and a module name open AI. I will create two custom fields. I will give the fir first field name as a prompt message will keep the field type as a string UTF and the another field having name answer and the same field type as a string UTF. I will save this table configurations. After saving, I will go to the REST message for creating one REST outbound message. So I will go to the application navigator and type REST message under system web services. We will create one REST message. Here, I will give the name as chat GPT integration for endpoint we will go to the chat GPT documentation from here you will get the URL for the same I will give the link in the description box so here you can see the endpoint now we will save this After saving, we have to go to the fault gate HTTP methods. Here we have to change the HTTP method to the post and the name post. In the HTTP he headers, we have to write authorization and in the second line, the content type. In content type, we will write application JSON format and for the authorization, we have to generate the API key from in from the documentation API keys, we will create the API key. Here I have already created the two API keys. Now we will create another one, create secret key. It will take some time. Before that, we will put here the bearer which is required and from here we will put our secret API key. The API key has been generated. We will copy this and just we have to paste here. After pasting, just save it and in content, we have to put this content which I will provide it in the description box here just put it and we just have to save this after saving we have to test whether our rest message is working or not we will test this yes the HTTP status is success 200 now we will create one 
business rule for the automation of our integration so i will go to the business rule under system definition i will create one new business rule for the table which we have created recently i will give the name test business rule and we'll select the table which we have created recently so i have selected the table that we have created recently i will create uh, advanced scripting so here i will use before insert or the update and in advanced section we have to write the code which i will provide in the description box this is our code which i have generated from the chat gpt itself you just have to copy and paste it here you have to change the backend name of your integration name and the tables also just we have to check the same whether they are similar or not then we have to check the backend name of this and you underscore answer this is also we have to change as per our table name table fields name and we have to change the another thing which is this is our table now we will save this business rule the 
our business rule has been saved now i will go to the my table here my, that table we have created recently uh, chat gpt here i will put my prompt that hi then i will save this it will give the message hello how can i assist you today so we have successfully integrated service now with the chat gpt so if i give the command here like what is service now so he will give us the answer so you can see service now is a cloud based platform that provides it service management so uh, using this you can ask the chat gpt that give me the script for the client script or the business rule or the script include or so for example give me a client script for auto populate the caller field in incident table service now i will just save this and it will provide me the script for the same you can see the script that service now uh, the chat gpt has been provided that is the java script so uh, for uh, seeing this in a good manner we can change the field type of this answer field as html also from configure dictionary we can change the field type as a html also for the better visibility of our answer maybe it will show or not let's check it yes he accepted the entry of the changing field type so now we will see the how our answer is looking like we will refresh this page we will go to our table still not giving the answer let me check once again so guys i have changed the field type of the answer as a html so you can see this field type now we i will put my message here and we'll save this let's see what will be the result right now a response has been generated and you can see the script that the chat gpt has been provided it in the service now so with the help of this you can integrate service now and chat gpt so i will provide this documentation in the service now share also and you will get all the things in the description box thank you